Hey everybody, Dieter Bone here, and I want to take a look at the Palm App Catalog, uh, the new version of it here in WebOS 2.0, something I missed uh, showing you in the original review. It is much improved, and of course there are two ways to go about getting to it. You can of course, you know, just launch the app, but uh, I'm going to go at it with just type. We're going to search for something specific, and then uh, we're going to see uh, what we've got here. So let's say I want to find a weather app, so I'll type weather, and then under launch and search, I We've got an option to have it pop up, and there it is, the Palm App Catalog. So that will launch the Palm App Catalog, and you'll see it's got this new dark theme, and it launches and searches. And so we've got a bunch of uh, weather apps here, um, and this is, you know, the search tab. We'll go into those tabs in a minute. And then, you know, you can, let's see, weather icons, free, tasty weather tunes, okay. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll take a look at the uh, oh, weather window. That one's new to me. Now the app listing page is very much the same. You can tap on the screenshot to look at multiple screenshots. And you can, wow, this actually looks pretty good. It's got a little artwork there. Um, you know, you've got the description. It's currently 50% off. You can go to the developer homepage, and then of course you can uh, read reviews. It's all right here. And you can also launch a, a YouTube video if the developer has uploaded one showing you the app. Turn up the volume here. With weather window, current conditions are displayed as your background. It's got tons of themes, like this nature one. Trees, black and white, icons, fantasy, fields, you name it. And if you want a simple... All right, I'm totally convinced I want this app. And you'll see that YouTube thing is showing up in a card, which is really convenient. So we'll go back to our first card here. And I'm buying this. And I'm going to download it. And I'm going to enter in my password, which you don't get to see. I'm not going to say it out loud as I type, even though I'm tempted to. And purchase. So this thing's going to download here. And while it's downloading, we're going to go on and look at the rest of the app. When you launch the uh, the app catalog by its lonesome, ooh, it looks like I managed to find a bug. Well, we'll just launch it by its lonesome then. Maybe it's angry because it's trying to install. Okay, here's the new home screen for the app catalog. We have this nice dark theme. We have featured apps. Of course, you can just search. Uh, there's only two featured apps at the top, and this doesn't scroll uh, horizontally the way it did before. Instead, what you have are just more featured apps down here. So uh, you get, you know, you, they can actually put in little graphics here so that there's better advertising for those apps. And then we've got, you know, hot apps here that are listed, so popular stuff. And there we see weather windows installed in the background. You can also go into top paid. So these are all the top paid apps. Uh, you can go into top free, and you'll see as you go into these categories, it still lists the. Uh, those featured apps up at the top. And typically it's a bit faster than this. I'm kind of surprised. There we go. And then of course most recent you can do as well. And then as you scroll you'll see this sort of browse categories bit stays there at the top. And so you can tap on that to get a pop-up of the different categories. Uh, so let's go take a look at the news category here. And so these are the most recent apps in news. Uh, we can go to the top uh, free apps in news, we can go to the top paid apps in news, and we can go to what's hot in news. And in all, in all cases, it leaves you right here in the, uh, the same category that you selected. And you can even go into further subcategories if you like, if you uh, want to do that. Um, now, one thing that's neat, if you look at this feeder icon, it actually shows that I've downloaded it, which is pretty cool. Um, so I know I've got it installed. Um, you can go to Preferences and Accounts, and this is going to be, you know, there's my pa there's my piece of card number, how often it checks, and so on. Um, and you can also launch the software manager directly from here because app updates no longer happen inside the app catalog; they happen inside the application manager, uh, which we are going to just take a real quick look at now. It's software manager is what it's called. And so this will pop up alerts when there are uh, software updates available to you. It lists all of your apps, of course, and you can see here there's two updates that I've got due. And so I'm actually just going to tap on that, install those updates. 
that must be what that icon was for feeder. And then if you like an app, you can go in, so let's go to the uh, Foursquare app here. If you've got a problem, you can report a problem and presumably that will get to the developer. You can also tap Review App right here within this interface and what it will do is it will give you a chance to enter in your review data. So I love this app, I'm giving it four stars and I'm going to say awesome I never used look at that there we go and now I've submitted a review and you can also delete it from here. You get to see the version and the size from the manager as well. And then there's another tab inside the software manager, but that goes to services, which uh, we don't have yet. <laughs> but those will come. Synergy services, exhibition, maybe will show up here. We don't know exactly how exhibition will work, um, but definitely synergy services would show up here. So there you go. That is a quick overview of the app catalog and the application manager. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to go try out this new weather app that I have that changes my background because it sounds pretty exciting. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch uh, plenty more WebOS 2.0 content over at precentral.net.